So today I will be showing how you install a tire onto a bicycle. Pretty straightforward process. You just set one side of the rim down on the tire like so. Stretch it the rest of the tire over the rim like I'm doing here. It's going to get a little tight as you get around the edge but you just heard it snap on. So that's one side on. I like to put the logo right where the valve stem goes. So I'm just going to slide that over a little to make that happen. Because I'm like that. <laughs> I'm a little picky. The next thing you want to do is get your tube out. I'm using a cheap tube that I got off eBay. That's where most of, where I got most of my stuff from actually. Tires, the wheels I got from Amazon. Uh, but just about everything I'm putting on this bike came from eBay. So, unpackage your tube. It's going to be kind of flat like this. What you want to do is take all the little bits off of your valve stem, loosen your valve stem, push it down like that, and then take with your mouth and just put a little bit of air in the tube. Just until it has a little bit of shape, and then reclose your valve. Once you've got that done, you want to install your valve stem. What I like to do is pull this over to the side, like so, stick the valve stem in, and then pop the side of the tire back over. Then what you want to do is go around and tuck your tube up inside of your rim, or up inside of your tire rather, like so. Just do that all the way around the tire. It's a little easier to do this way. Just go around the tire, tucking the tube in. And then, once the tube is tucked up in there, go around and kind of tuck the tube up inside of the rim. Because right now it's kind of hanging outside of the rim, like you can see here. You want to tuck it up inside of the rim, like on this side. So make your way around, doing that, being careful not to pinch the tube between the rim and the tire, because that will cause it to pop. You don't want that. So once you've gone all the way around and tucked the tube up inside of the rim, the next thing you want to do is uh, pop this side of the tire on. That's pretty much the same way as you did it last time. Just start pulling it over. Just make your way all the way around the wheel. You can use tire levers for this stuff, but I don't like to do that too much just because of the fact that you can end up pinching your tube and you don't really want that. Once you get to this little bit here, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but just keep working with your hands and you can get it on. Let's see if I can get, get you in the camera the way I'm doing this. If you absolutely can't get it in like this, you can try to use a tire level tire lever to gently pry it over. Um, or you can just keep working with your hands. It's up to you. Uh, I guess since this is a little bit tight, I'll kind of show you how to do it with a tire lever. So I'll grab one of those, a couple of those, show you how to do that. So now you have your tire levers. Like I said, you want to be very careful not to pinch your tube that you just put in. So go to a spot where the tire is already over the rim and just kind of get it underneath there and start working your way around like this. You see what I'm doing there? No, do not. <laughs> just kind of try to work it and slide it this way. And you see how eventually you start to get to where you're getting the bead over the rim. It's kind of a pain in the butt. These beads are a little tight, but it'll go. We'll just need a little bit of persuasion. Maybe take your other hand, 
to kind of pull up over this side as well. Kind of use both hands to convince it gently to go on. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, there you have it. So now you've got your tire and tube installed. All you've got to do is put air in the tire. Ready to roll.